Hey there, I'm Sharon Malone, and welcome back to another episode of Shift Tips, where we share the best tips and tricks to make your digital life simpler. Today, we're diving into a topic that often goes unnoticed, the carbon footprint of the internet. Now, we all rely on the internet daily, but did you know that our online activities actually contribute to carbon dioxide emissions? Let's break down how it happens and what we can do about it. Every time you send an email, stream a video, or search the web, energy is consumed. This energy typically comes from electricity generated by fossil fuels, leading to CO2 emissions. Data centers, which store and process huge amounts of information, are major energy consumers. They require constant cooling, power backups, and high-speed connectivity. In fact, Information and communication technologies accounts for 4% of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's equivalent to the entire aviation industry. Yes, that includes Taylor Swift's private jet. This number is expected to rise by 5-7% to annually as our reliance on digital services grows. Let's put this into perspective. Sending a single email with a one megabyte attachment produces around 20 grams of CO2. That's equivalent to leaving a 60 watt light bulb on for 25 minutes. <laughs> Multiply that by the dozens of emails you send daily and it adds up quickly. That means all of those unread newsletters in your inbox could potentially power a small village. A typical web search generates about 0.8 grams of CO2, with an average of 2.6 searches per person per day. The environmental impact is no joke. Video streaming now makes up about 83% of all web traffic. And when you're streaming videos, especially in HD or 4K, that's a lot of energy consumption going on behind the scenes. So you may be asking yourself, what can I do to reduce my digital carbon footprint? Here are some practical steps. Enable power saving modes, reduce screen brightness, and turn off any features you're not using, like Bluetooth, to conserve energy. Compress attachments, avoid sending unnecessary emails, and delete old ones that no longer serve a purpose. Save your most visited websites, use specific search terms, and when possible, type in the direct URL to save energy. Adjust video quality to what's necessary and consider downloading videos for offline viewing instead of streaming. Choose internet providers and cloud services that prioritize renewable energy. That way your browsing is powered by the wind. Literally. As our reliance on technology grows, it's important for us to be aware of its environmental impact. By adopting eco-friendly browsing habits, we can all do our part to reduce CO2 emissions. Let's work together to create a cleaner, greener internet. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time.